This is my elevator controller finite state machine simulation. So over here on the left we have the 16 buttons that choose the floor where the user inputs and those go into priority encoders which give it a 4-bit value. After it goes through this AND gate, or array of AND gates that takes in the values from the two 3-bit encoders and gives them a 4-bit value. And these multiplexers are just to select either uh, high or the value of the priority encoder because on Logisim they don't automatically output high. And so then though that 4-bit code goes into this multiplexer and uh, register, which together are an enabled flip-flop, where it either chooses between the value that's input, if a value is input, and that's told by the priority flag here, or if no value is input, it chooses between the last uh, value. It chooses the last value so that the input remains the same after the button is not pressed. And then that 4-bit goes into this comparator, which compares it with the current floor that the machine is at. And that those three outputs then to that tell it either we're at the floor below, above, or the same floor, go into this, which is the, uh, the more machine, the actual finite state machine of the controller. And so in that, we have those three inputs, and those go into some logic along with the current states uh, to choose the next state. And the states themselves represent whether the machine should go up or down. And so it takes that it either up, down, or stay the same. So you need two bits, so we have two states here. And then those output to these, which are the motor controlling bits, and those tell the motor go up, go down, or stay the same. And then in the main, then we have this, the eight floor elevator. This is just a, um, a finite state machine of an elevator, essentially, which uh, based on the current floor and the motor input, uh, changes the floor accordingly. And I just built this to model the elevator, uh, but it's only eight bits. It's only eight floors, uh, simply because the logic would be too much to make a 16-floor elevator. But it works in principle. And so when I go to the main, if I turn on the clock, and then if I choose floor three, for example, then it'll go up to floor three. And then I'm on floor three right now. If I choose floor three again, it'll stay on floor three. But if I choose floor six, it'll go up to floor six. And so since it's only an eight floor elevator, if I choose 16 or 15, for example, it'll only go up to eight. Uh, but then let's say I choose two, it'll go back down to two like that, and then zero. And it, it won't change from zero until something new is input.